ova are surrounded by follicular cells and the DNA in their nucleus has an enormous amount of cytoplasm. And together, this makes ova less vulnerable to the environment, such as the heat of the body or other changes. In contrast, the sperm of males are very small cells, essentially DNA with a flagellar tail. These cells are much more delicate and much more vulnerable to conditions of the environment. And so the accessory sex glands of males must secrete alkaline uh, fluids in semen to counteract the acidity of the vagina, which would otherwise kill the sperm. And as mammals evolved a higher body temperature, this then threatened fertility since the high body temperatures in the core of the body, where the testes were originally located, this heat would cause infertility by killing sperm. Birds somehow maintain a high body temperature and fertility, but the testes do not descend into the scrotum. This is because some lower their body temperature at night, and some can store sperm at the distal end of the vas deferens, which is outside the body and thus cooler. Most placental mammals solve this problem in a different way. They moved the testis from its original location in the body cavity to a pouch outside the body cavity known as the scrotum. In these images, you can see that in sharks, in frogs, in fish, in ancestral vertebrates, the testes are located in the abdominal body cavity. In human embryos, they begin their development here and then descend, ovaries descend to the pelvic brim, but then testes continue further. This is not the ancestral condition in mammals, however. Monotremes, the most primitive mammals, including some placental mammals, such as some insectivores, sirens, elephants, sloths, whales, and armadillos, retain the testes inside the abdominopelvic body cavity, as in the ancestral condition. In some mammals, such as some insectivores, some rodents, hyenas, and seals, the testes descend into a muscular pouch, but not a true scrotum, which includes part of the coelom. In some mammals, including some rodents, some bats, and some primates, the testes can descend into a true scrotum, but only during breeding season. In most marsupials, and in most placental mammals, the testes descend into a true scrotum. This includes humans, and in infant males, if the testes do not fully descend into the scrotum, then this may result in the testis not being able to produce viable sperm and should be corrected as soon as possible.